I'm in the process of dehydrating a lot of different foods for upcoming hiking trips that I'm intending to do this summer. I have some herring in here, some tuna, I have salmon, sardines, this is lemony garlic, couscous, Kentucky coffee beans, and dehydrated fermented beans. I'll show you more and I'll talk more about this in a future video. But for now, I want to show you some seedlings that have come up and then I'm going to show you what I'm eating today and how I eat fermented foods. Do you see that? I have five of them that have sprouted so far. There's another one. There's a tiny little one right there. And there's one right there. So I have five that have sprouted. These are the different uh, marijuana seeds that I've planted and that are just growing here on my windowsill under the fluorescent lighting. And something that I didn't share before is I'm not using any fancy dirt. I know a lot of growers say that you have to have very particular soil for your plants. This is just garden dirt. Very rich organic garden earth that I created. Seems to be working. And all of these are my different tomato plants and cucumber. I don't have anything growing there yet. Oh, there's another one there. So I have three cucumber seedlings so far and lots of tomato seedlings coming up. And my sweet potatoes are starting to root and very soon they will start to create more slips. They'll create more slips like this that I can then put into my grow pots and plant. Today I'm having fermented butternut squash soup that has been fermenting for a day in turkey broth. And you'll notice I went thrift shopping the other day and bought two of these and only paid $7.99 for both of them and also got 20% off. So I've been looking for these for the last four years. They weren't in with the regular pots and pans. They were in with all the decorative glass dishes. I don't normally go to that section, but my intuition told me to go there yesterday, so I did. So really happy about that. Now I just am working on getting better utensils to eat this particular soup with. Uh, maybe a nice deep wooden spoon. I have some wooden spoons, but they're not deep enough to consume soup with. So yeah, today it's fermented butternut squash soup, and I'm just heating it up on low. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of collagen to this just for some protein. I'll probably have this with a little bit of sourdough bread that I've just made. To this particular batch of soup, I added some fresh baked butternut squash. So this is both fermented butternut squash and non-fermented butternut squash. Nice and hearty, but light. And if you're new to my channel, if you've never seen how I eat fermented foods in a day, if you bring this to a complete boil, it will kill the probiotics in the soup. I don't bring it to that boiling point. I warm it so that it's a little bit warmer than room temperature, so maybe about 74, 75 degrees. To accompany my bowl of soup today, I just baked some sourdough bread. It's nice and hot still, and that's exactly how I like it. And that's pretty much what I'm going to have for this meal. Earlier, I had a glass of milk of here. I haven't had that for a while. And I had two dark chocolate covered almonds, but obviously <laughs> that's not enough to sustain anyone, right? So today it's uh, bread and soup. I'm gonna have a fermented egg with this. I need a little more protein and fat. So this and a fermented egg, and that'll do me just great. So that's how I eat fermented foods today. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Until I see you in a future video. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.